I'm Miss Jasmine. I grew up speaking both English and Spanish. So today, you'll hear me speak in English and Espanol. Hello, hola, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Come on, learners, let's get started. Hello, learners. Buen día, aprendices. I'm so happy you joined to grow your brains with me today. Today, we are going to learn all about the letter E, practice counting, and identify some of our colors. Hoy vamos a aprender sobre la letra E, practicar el conteo e identificando algunos de nuestros colores. Let's get started. We start every class reviewing our vowels. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Vowels in English have two different types of sounds, long and short sounds. Las vocales en inglés tienen dos tipos diferentes de sonidos, sonidos largos y cortos. Okay, learners, repeat after me. A for airplane, a, a, airplane. In Spanish, avión, a, a, avión. E for elephant, e, e, elephant. In Spanish, elefante, e, e, elefante. I for igloo, e, e, igloo. In Spanish, igloo, e, e, igloo. O for oval, o, o, oval. In Spanish, ovalo, o, o, ovalo. U for unicorn, U, U, unicorn. In Spanish, unicornio, U, U, unicornio. There are five vowels in the alphabet, six when you count Y. Nice job going over the vowels with me. Now, let's meet our letter of the day, E. Ahora conozcamos nuestra letra del día, E. E is one of our vowels. Remember, we have two types of letters, uppercase and lowercase. I see an uppercase E and a lowercase E, mayúscula y minúscula. Let's practice making the short E sound. Repeat after me. E, E, E. Now let's make an E in American Sign Language. Next, we are going to draw an E in the air using our finger. Vamos a escribir E en el aire. Just think. Drawing letters in the air is such a fun way to practice our letters. First, draw a straight line down. A line across the top, a line across the middle, a line across the bottom. Good job! Let's draw it again. Can you make it even bigger? Excellent! Excelente! Let's review some words that begin with the letter E and the short E sound, E. Elephant, E, E, elephant. Do you know how to say it in Spanish? Elefante, E, E, elefante. En español, la letra E tiene un sonido, E, E, E. In Spanish, the letter E has one sound, E, E, E. Do you know Elephants are the largest land animal on the planet, and their trunks can weigh up to 400 pounds. And they can pick up a single grain of rice. Wow! Here is the next short E word, excited. Eh, eh, excited. Eh, eh, emocionado. Nice job with the short E sound. I am excited because you are now experts at the short E sound. I'm also excited because it's almost my birthday. Do you get excited when it's almost your birthday too? This is my excited face. Esta es mi cara emocionada. What's your excited face? Are you ready for the last short E word? E, e, eggs, huevos. Look at all these eggs. 
How many do you see? Let's count them together. Vamos a contar juntos. Get your counting finger ready. Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. En español. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Did you notice the colors of the eggs? Some are white and some are brown. Algunos son blancos y otros son marrones. They make a pattern. Hacen un patrón. Let's say the color of each egg as I point to them. Ready? Let's begin. White, brown, brown. White, brown, brown. En español. Blanco, marrón, marrón. Blanco, marrón, marrón. Did you notice how the colors repeated? That is a pattern. Eso es un patrón. Now it's time to use our brains and our eyes and think quickly as we look at these eggs. How many eggs do you see? ¿Cuántos huevos ves? Did you say six? You are so smart. Four brown eggs, cuatro huevos marrón, and two more white eggs, dos huevos blancos, makes a total of six eggs. Un total de seis huevos. Great job, learners. Good thinking. Oh my gosh, our time together is almost over. I had a great time learning with you today. Me lo pasé muy bien aprendiendo contigo hoy. We practiced the short vowel sounds, learned all about the letter E, practiced counting, identified patterns, and used our brains to identify the number of eggs just by looking at them. Aprendimos todo sobre la letra E, practicamos contando, identificamos patrones y usamos nuestro cerebro para pensar rápidamente, identificar la cantidad de huevos con solo mirarlos. See you next time where we will learn about more letters. I wonder what letter will be next. Nos vemos la próxima vez donde aprenderemos sobre más letras. Me pregunto, ¿qué letra será la siguiente? I can't wait to grow our brains together. Looking for more fun learning activities to do with your family? Go to projectrainbow.cookcountyil.gov. Thank you for joining me today. Gracias por acompañarme. Goodbye, scholars. Goodbye, friends. Adios amigos, until we meet again. Goodbye. Adios. See you next time.